Hello and welcome to the grand final of Countdown, our 62nd final, in fact, and it promises to be a real cracker. We started out this series in January and since then no fewer than a hundred different men, women and sometimes children have taken part and given us some absolutely cracking entertainment. But now we're down to the very best two. They'll be competing for the title of Countdown Champion, of course, as well as the prize of the complete Oxford English Dictionaries worth around £4,000. So, without further ado, let's meet our two finalists. First of all, Nikki Sellers, who lives in Swindon, where she's training to be a teacher. She's claimed a place in today's final after wreaking revenge on Lee Graham, who she lost to in the heats. Nikki put up a consistently solid performance, though, this time round to see off Lee by 89 points to 51, which included the difficult conundrum inaugural. She's managed eight victories to date, has amassed 745 points along the way, and she is bidding to become the first female winner of Countdown for 12 years. I know that yesterday, Nikki, you said that Oliver was unbeatable, but from what we've seen of you, you must give yourself a chance. Well, I'm just going. To, I'm here to enjoy it, and um, I can't believe I'm here. So I shall just go through the surreal experience of today and see what happens. Your family been impressed with you so far? They have, yes. I would say they're very proud. So very lucky to have their support. Quite right too. Um, our number seven seed, but a finalist this season, Nikki Sellers. Up against Nicky is Oliver Garner. He's 15 years old. He comes from New Malton in Surrey. He's a student at Tiffin School. And he stormed into the final with a great win over Mass Wiz, Craig Chittenden, outscoring him by 105 points to 69. He even managed to do something that nobody else has done so far by taking 10 points off Craig at the numbers. So his all-round game is absolutely perfectly honed for this final against Nicky. Oliver's record stands at 10 wins and he scored 1,030 points along the way. My math is not so good, but even I can work that out to be an average of over 100. He's our number one seed and unbeaten so far. Well, Oliver, you saw Nikki play yesterday, obviously. Um, how tough a challenge do you think this will be? Yeah, she's very good. I think it'll be a tough game. It'll be close. And I'm, I'm excited but nervous. OK, well, the very best of luck to you. Our number one seed, Oliver Garner. Let's just say hello to Rachel Riley. Nice new posh frock for the final, Rachel. Yeah, special occasion. Got to dress up for it. Mm. As you, you're looking very dapper today, Jeff. Thank you. Well, you Absolutely look very um, peachy. Cool Thank you. Yeah, yes. Matching Nikki. Yes. And in, in Dictionary Corner, of course, we've got Susie Dent and uh, the magical Paul Zenon. Looking forward to this, fellas? Very much so. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's been a good week. Yeah, it has been a good week. Let's hope the final is magical too. I'm sure it will be. Here's our first round. Nikki, it's your first pick of the letters. OK, I'll start with the consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you. Very good luck. The first letter, M. And another. S. And another. R. And a vowel, please. A. And another. E. And another. O. And a consonant, please. X. Uh, another consonant, please. T. And a final vowel, please. And a final A. And for the first time in this final, here's the countdown clock. Oliver, what have Seven. you got? Seven. And Nikki? Just a six. OK, what's your six, Nikki? Master. And your seven, Oliver? Maestro. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Well done. Uh, spotted maestro for seven. I think he's probably spotted the only seven, has he, Paul? Uh, I reckon. I think we could just kind of take a sabbatical for this uh, <laughs> particular <laughs> show, couldn't we, really? But, yeah, yeah, maestro is all we had to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, great start for Oliver. He's on the scoreboard already with seven points. And Oliver, you've also got the pick of the letters this time. Uh, hi again, Rachel. Hi again, Oliver. Can I start with the vowel, please? You can, thank you. Start with O. And another? E. A third? O. 
A consonant. P. And another. T. A third. S. A fourth. G. A uh, consonant. B. And a final consonant, please. And a final R. Here's the countdown clock. Nikki, what have you got? Seven. And Oliver? Seven. Both sevens. OK. Oliver, what's yours? Poorest. And yours, Nikki? Poorest as well. Uh, yes. Was there anything better than seven? I imagine there were some of the sevens around with the poor. Uh, we got reboots. Uh, that was about it, really, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, not a lot else there. Mm. Uh, Nikki on seven, then. She's on the scoreboard. Oliver has 14. Nikki, it's your choice. Consonant, please, Rachel. <coughs> Thank you, Nikki. L. And another. T. And another. G. And a vowel, please. U. And another vowel. E. And uh, another vowel. O. And vowel, please. U. OK, go back to consonants, please. R. And a final consonant, please. And a final T. And your 30 seconds starts now. This time, Oliver? Uh, six. And Nikki? Six. Okay, what's yours, Nikki? Outlet. And Oliver? Gutter. Outlet and gutter. Both fine for six, aren't they? Yes. What else? Was there anything more than six? No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, another uh, six with turtle. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have anything else? No, trying to find one, but it's not there. No. So that was the sum turtle of them then. Uh, Nikki has 13. Oliver has 20. Moving swiftly along to our next round. Oliver, it's your pick. Consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Oliver. M. And another. C. And a vowel. I. And again. O. And third. Another I. Uh, consonant. F. Another. Y. Uh, another. T. And I'll uh, finish with the vowel, please. And finish with E. Time starts now. Oliver? I think a six. OK. What's the five, Nikki? Motif. And the six, Oliver? Moietti. Yes. Yeah. Yep, mm. absolutely right. It's um, to do with moitié, the French half share of something. It's very good. Excellent. Yeah. Mm. Didn't think there were too many sixes in the way there. Was there yeah. anything else, Paul, Susan? Uh, no, we've got um, comedy and comfit. Yes. Which both sound like <laughs> you're pronouncing them wrong, really. Yeah, comity is an association of nations for their mutual benefit. Uh, and comfort, I know from uh, licorice comfort, the little sweets, sugar coated sweets that you can eat. So, um, F I T. Yeah. Okay. Uh, early advantage to Oliver, he's on 26. Nikki has 13. Here's the first numbers round of the contest, though, and Nikki is you to pick them. Uh, just one from the top, please, Rachel. One from the top, thank you, Nikki. And five small, two very good numbers contestants. So this round, the numbers are 8, 1, 3, 9, 7 and 25. And the target to reach, 642. 30 seconds to reach, 642.
Looking for 642 then. Um, how close, Oliver? 642. Uh, Nikki? No, 649. Okay. Oliver, let's hear that 642 then, please. 9 times 3 equals 27 minus 1 equals 26. 9 times 3? This equals 27. Oh, equals... I think it's times 7. I don't know where no. we're going here. No. <laughs> minus 1 equals 26. Yep. Times 25 equals 650. Brilliant. Minus 8. Perfect. 642. Yeah, well done, Oliver. Nikki's on 13. Oliver has raced on to... 36. Time to take a little break from the action. We always have great fun when Paul Zenon's a guest on Countdown. This week's been no exception. Into the last day of your stay, though, Paul, what have you got for us today? Well, something special. I've always been interested in kind of like uh, freak shows and side shows and things. And I started collecting curios, and uh, it kind of crosses over with Susie's kind of word uh, sort of explanations and history. Because uh, you've heard the expression, uh, the worm that turned, all right? Look what I got on eBay. That's the actual worm. <laughs> <laughs> that turned in there. Not only that, I've got the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Curiosity killed the cat. Yes. I've got the actual cat that Curiosity killed. OK. There he is, Professor Lucky. <laughs> 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 Professor Lucky actually belonged to a mind reader. Now, he's quite old, Professor Lucky, and uh, he, he had a kind of predilection for the paranormal. He could predict things. And, uh, as I say, he belonged to this mind reader called Alexander. And, uh, and when he died, he obviously had him stuffed. And uh, I'm going to give you a clue as to when he died, actually. It was with, within the past 100 years, right? Now, I want you to... Um, I'm going to get you to stare into his eyes, because his eyes can be quite hypnotic. So, first of all, Jeff, can you just stare into his eyes and see what happens? <laughs> OK, just stare into his eyes. <laughs> and I want you to have a guess at the year... Professor Lucky died. So there's a clue in the fact that it was in the, in the past 100 years. Mm. So what year do you reckon it was? 1977. 77? Mm. See, that's interesting. OK. Now, Rachel, I want you to do the same. Just stare into Professor Lucky's eyes. And what month do you think Professor Lucky died, Rachel? January. You see, it's just down to you to mess it up now, Susie. <laughs> so <laughs> stare Always into Professor end. Lucky's eyes. <laughs> what day of the month, January? 77, did he die, do you think? What date? What date? The 11th. The 11th. You see, that's really weird. Because Professor Lucky knew when he was going to die. A vet told him. That's not true, I made that bit up. <laughs> but Professor Lucky knew when he was going to die, and so he insisted on having a memorial. So Alexander, when he died, bought him this little kind of uh, tag thing, which is engraved there. I don't know if you can see on that tag, it says R.I.P. Professor Lucky. And he also, even before he died, he wore this, and it has the date that he, when he died engraved on the back. Look what it's got there. 110177. You see, it's all in the eyes. <laughs> Fantastic. Nikki on 13, then. Oliver on 36. He has the early advantage in our Series 62 final. Here's a tease of you. The words are rat tonic, rat tonic. And the clue, if you want to get this, you need to get a grip. If you want to get this, you need to get a grip. Mm -hmm. 